a Muppet News flash. <laughs> Dateline, New York City. A former circus daredevil who billed himself as Boffo the Human Cannonball fired himself out of a cannon yesterday into a crowd of holiday shoppers. Fortunately, there were no injuries to the passers-by. Boffo was not so lucky. Said his wife, the former Mrs. Boffo, I guess I'll just have to pick up the pieces and live my life. <laughs> Here's a Muppet News flag. Tight security surrounds the Muppet Show with the theater holding over $50 million in gold bullion. Trained guards watch the precious metal round the clock and dire consequences will befall anyone who so much as lays a finger on it. Like so. They're gonna be all right, but stay with them. Muppet News Flag. This is the opening night of the opera season, and and now for this news flash. The worst blizzard in 50 years is approaching us at a great rate. The weather service reports that barometers are falling sharply. Oh no! Here's a Muppet news flash. Our newsroom has been flooded with calls today reporting that furniture all over town has been turning into monsters. Seven people have allegedly been attacked by a wandering pack of sofas at the east edge of town. A dining room table set for eight, reportedly ate the eight it was set for. <laughs> when contacted for comment, Sheriff David Goles assured Muppet News Central that the rumor was false. According to Goles, there is no way for a piece of furniture to turn into a monster. <laughs> Scientists throughout the city confirmed that such an occurrence would be impossible. <laughs> about furniture is ridiculous. There's a Muppet News Flash. Dateline. Uh. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> and now for this Muppet News Flash. Stars fell on Alabama last night. But the Weather Bureau said it was a freak storm and would never... Police today announced a total amnesty on all overdue library books. <laughs> library fines will be forgiven on all overdue books returned to this station within the next three seconds. Three seconds? That must be a misprint. <laughs> ah! Here's a Muppet news flash. And now to Washington, D.C. for a direct call on our hotline. Oh, oh, oh. Now, direct from the Chicago Livestock Board, here are the gestation periods. Gestation. Yes. Anyhow, gestation periods. Pigs, 113 days. Cows, 284 days. Horses, 337 days. And elephants, 645 days. <laughs> Elsewhere on the agricultural news front, the recent bumper crop has been causing problems for farmers. Widespread dumping of produce has resulted from this bumper crop. Bumper crop! Here is a Muppet News flag. There it was, folks. Now this Muppet News flag. On Wall Street today, commodity experts were amazed as beef fell dramatically. But, oh no! Here is a Muppet News Flash! The eminent research scientist, Dr. Bunsen Honeypig, 
Today announced he had successfully converted a sow's ear into a silk purse. <laughs> Dr. Honeypig is now the object of a massive civil and criminal suit by the wife of a neighborhood artist, Mrs. Vincent Van Gogh Pig. <laughs> and now a Muppet News Flash. Here are the results of today's national sheepdog trials. All the sheepdogs have been found not guilty. <laughs> and now for this Muppet News Flash. Bands of roving cheeses have been reported at the edge of town moving towards city center. The cheeses are reported to be smelly and often in the company of crackers. Uh, most of them seem to be moving about on foot, but some cheeses naturally are in wheels. Ah, ah! a Muppet News Flash. In the world of sports today, Rich Gannon, quarterback for the Oakland Raiders, threw 250 touchdown passes. 250 touchdown passes? That's impossible. There's got to be a mistake here somewhere. It's ridiculous, 250 touchdown passes to it. Oh, ow, ow, oh, ow, ow. Here is a Muppet News Flash. The great glue threat is over. The rogue adhesive is under control. Everything is... A Muppet News Flash. Scientists were flummoxed today by reports of giant boulders rolling through Hollywood. <laughs> ha! Ha! They didn't give you giant boulders to throw, did they? Ha! Ha! No, but they gave me one! Ha! 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 No, no, you missed! You missed! Oh, no! no. <laughs> Local citizens have reported the sighting of an unidentified flying object. When last seen, it was directly over the Muppet Newsroom. Here's a Muppet News Flash. The Muppet's Kitchen with Cat Cora is coming to the World Wide Web. The tasty cuisine of Cat Cora combined with the madness of the Muppets. I certainly hope her insurance is paid up. <clears throat> Visit the Muppets Kitchen and watch Cat Cora and the Muppets ham it up. What the? I said ham. And you give me pancakes? What kind of bird brains are running this place? Oh, 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 oh the incessant pecking! Oh, 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 oh. Muppet News Flag. The makers of the light fixture used in that last veterinarian's hospital have announced that they are recalling all of their hospital lights. A spokesman for the company said that all manufacturing of that particular light fixture has been dropped. Oh. <laughs> Here is a Muppet Blues Flash. Dateline Silver Spring, Maryland. At this very moment, Mr. and Mrs. George Laser of Silver Spring are attempting to break the world's record for overhand refrigerator throwing. <laughs> Hailstones the size and shape of chickens are falling from the sky. That's absurd. <laughs> oh. <laughs> then again, maybe not. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, this just into Muppet News. The Muppet Whatnots have taken the city by storm. Fifth Avenue is teeming with these strange visitors. Who are they? What are they? And what do they want from us? Besides cab fare and a reasonably priced meal. Muppet News Flash. Constantine, the world's most dangerous frog, has escaped from a maximum security gulag in Siberia, Russia. This move has leapfrogged Constantine to the number one most wanted criminal in the world. One place ahead of the mysterious lemur. Dateline The Muppet Show. An embarrassing situation developed today when the Muppet news reporter accidentally went on camera forgetting to put on his pants. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, good grief. And now a Muppet news flash, probably the greatest news story in history. The meaning and purpose of life has just been announced. The full text of the announcement is as follows. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, just a second. I had it here a minute ago. Uh, where is it? Meaning and purpose. How can I keep track of things when you're always straightening up my desk? Good evening. And welcome to Muppet News International. Yes, sir. Welcome to it. Simultaneous translation, bringing you news and views across the language barrier. 
Hello. Are you going to tell them what I just said? No, your secret is safe with me. <laughs> All right, here is the news. Things look grim in the outback as rebel forces continue to fight amongst themselves. Right. Uh, first one side seems to be winning. Yes, sir. Uh, and then the other side gets on top. Uh, and casualties have been very heavy. And strong ties between the two factions have been permanently cut. Uh, eyebrows uh, were raised today at the auction rooms where a priceless antique vase came under the hammer. Uh, rumors of a cover-up uh, affected prices on the <laughs> prices on the stock market where woolens were hit badly, eventually plunging to an all-time low. Ah! The search continues for a missing man sent by police to be dangerous and more than a little screwy. The man was known as the inventor of the, the pop-up toaster. We have all fashion. Ah, oh. ah, oh, ah, ah, a newsman was attacked today by a mad English comic. Really? We must find him. Here's a Muppet news flash. There is no news tonight.